Hello everyone and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over the static keyword and why it's important and how we can get around having to make all of our functions static inside of this program class. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's um, let's create or let's call this function that we have from the last tutorial in our car class this car name will actually make this static. All right. And what's the use of this? So the main use is whenever we create um, a new object um, or whenever we want to access any of these methods, we have to create a new object. So car, car equals new car. And then we can access whatever we want. However, the beauty of this, the public static, um, or excuse me, yeah, the, uh, the static keyword is we can take all of this off and access it immediately. So we don't have to create a new object. It's already there, ready to go, ready for us. So we can just say for this car type, again, we can say, static van and it functions the same. This is very helpful um, when there might be a, um, a method or a property which we'll get into later um, but there might be something regarding the class that we need to access and we really don't want to access oh yeah we didn't actually uh, print it out anyways um, there might be something that we want to access without having to create an object every single time and we want it to be globally available and constant so public making it public and then having it be static is a great way for us to accomplish that so that is what the static keyword does same thing with class and it allows us to access um, it allows us to access whatever is static um, from the uh, class itself and not from the class object. So I hope this makes sense. Um, definitely an important concept. Actually, before we go, let's now figure out how we can use um, a method inside of our program class that isn't static. So let's say um, void C secret function. All right. Console right line. You found me. Okay. So, whoops. All right. So now we have this function called secret function and we have to access it without using the static keyword. So let's go ahead, secret, oops, secret function, okay? And it doesn't show up, whoops, excuse me. Secret function says is there a, it needs to be static. So if we do add static, we'll see it and everything will be fine. But we don't wanna do that. So how can we access this without it being static. Well, the first thing is we're in our own class called program. So we can actually make our own object called program. And we can call it program object equals new program. All right. And then, whoops. We can simply say program object and access the secret function. There we go. And let's go ahead and run that. Aha. There we go. Got him. So that is how you use the static keyword. That's also how um, if, when you're making a script, if you need to access 
um, a function and do not want it to be static, just make a new object and you'll be able to access that function. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it makes sense. Um, this problem actually blocked me um, for a couple days, um, like a couple years ago when I really started C Sharp. So um, I definitely feel the pain <laughs> of not understanding static. So being able to um, explain this, I hope to shed some light on it and I hope that um, you guys have learned a lot. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, of course, in the comments below or um, email me directly. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.